Medicare Advantage plan popularity has skyrocketed in recent years, but when it comes to actually choosing a plan that might be right for you, what should you look for? Celebrities on Medicare commercials will say it's all about choosing flashy extra benefits while insurance agents on social media would say you'd have to be crazy to even consider enrolling in a Medicare Advantage plan in the first place. So, which is it? First, my name is Cameron Giardini and I help operate Giardini Medicare, which is an independent Medicare-focused agency based in Michigan. If you wanna connect with us for Medicare help, you can leave us a comment or click the link below in the description to get connected with an agent. But enough of that, let's get started. A quick disclaimer, if you have not already watched our video about comparing Medicare Advantage plans and Medicare supplements, we highly recommend that you click the link above to watch that video and then come back to this video afterwards. Although this video is focused solely on Medicare Advantage plans, we of course believe that you should compare both options and you should consider the pros and cons of each. With that being said, the first thing we recommend you do when considering a Medicare Advantage plan is to make a quick list of things that are most important to you when choosing your Medicare coverage. For example, do you care more about having your doctors in your plan's network? Are prescription drug coverages very important to you? Maybe you have medical needs that you wanna keep your costs down. Lastly, you might consider extra benefits like dental coverage to be the most important. So make sure to stick around until the end of this video when we will go into greater detail about all of the topics. It's important to understand all of these factors that should be considered when choosing a Medicare Advantage plan. Now that you have given some thought into what coverage is important to you, you should start to identify which plans are actually available where you live. Remember, Medicare Advantage plans, they're private alternatives to original Medicare. This means they are sold by private insurance companies that contract with Medicare. These plans and insurance companies that are available to you will entirely depend on the state and even the county that you live in. Fortunately, finding these plans and which ones are available is actually pretty easy and can be done by going to medicare.gov to use the plan finder tool. There, you can enter your zip code and select Medicare Advantage plans to see most, if not all, of the Medicare Advantage plans that are available in your county. Don't worry about putting prescriptions into the plan finder during this step, since it's just important to familiarize yourself with your local market. Now, this may seem overwhelming since it will show dozens of plan results, but just know that each insurance company can offer several different plans, so there's really not as many insurance companies to choose from as you may think. I know we sound biased, but an independent insurance broker will be your best resource when it comes to narrowing down these plan options. But make sure you speak with somebody with actual knowledge about the specific Advantage plan options in your local market. Not every agent is created equal when it comes to this. Now the process of choosing a Medicare Advantage plan, it can be daunting. So although this video will teach you how to do most of it on your own, make sure you do at least use some no-cost help from a broker along the way. Now, let's go into more detail about the different coverage details of Medicare Advantage plans that will likely factor into which plan you will end up enrolling in. So make sure to stick around until the end of this video because we will actually show you how to put all of this information together in an easy to follow method for picking a plan. The first thing we will mention is deciding between a Medicare Advantage plan that is an HMO or a PPO. Yes, there are other types of Medicare Advantage plans aside from just HMOs and PPOs, but these two are by far the most common. Overall, the biggest thing to consider when it comes to deciding between an HMO or a PPO is whether you are okay staying within your plan's specific network of medical providers, or if you want the ability to see out-of-network providers without having to rely on it being an emergency. Typically, HMO plans, they have a lower out-of-pocket medical cost in exchange for the fact that they may require referrals to see specialists and your ability to see providers outside of your plan's network will be mostly limited to emergency situations. While PPOs, on the other hand, they may have higher out-of-pocket medical costs in exchange for not needing referrals for specialists, and you do have the added flexibility to try and get treatment at out-of-network providers, even when it might not be an emergency. However, we also wanna mention 
that there does seem to be a misconception out there that Medicare Advantage plans that are PPOs, they don't expose you to restrictions like prior authorization for different procedures before they can be completed. This is simply not the case. PPOs may provide more network flexibility than HMOs, but they are still managed care plans and the insurance company can and will be involved in your treatment plans and decisions. Although HMOs tend to have horrible reputations since they were much more restrictive decades ago, now there are plenty of Medicare Advantage HMOs with large provider networks and it's pretty likely that at least one plan in your area will include most, if not all, of your medical providers. Similar to deciding between HMOs versus PPOs, which may or may not provide network flexibility, it is very important to actually consider what a Medicare Advantage plan's medical provider network looks like in the first place before even choosing which plan is right for you. Because Medicare Advantage plans are offered by private insurance companies that contract with Medicare, these insurance companies also have specific physicians and hospitals that contract with them to be considered in-network providers. So this is not the same as original Medicare where you can just see any provider that accepts Medicare without restriction. Also, it is very, very important that you know that insurance companies Medicare Advantage network is likely not the same as their employer plan networks or their under 65 health insurance networks. So don't assume just because you have an insurance company for your health insurance before age 65, that they're going to be the right company for you for your Medicare Advantage plan and their network. Whether or not you choose to enroll in an HMO or a PPO, your plan's provider network will matter. Many people think choosing a PPO will be your ticket to seeing any provider, whether or not they're part of your Medicare Advantage plan's specific network. But just know that out-of-network providers, they don't have to treat you outside of emergency situations. So we will discuss this in more detail towards the end of the video, but even Medicare Care Advantage plans offered by the same insurance company can have different networks from one plan to another. Here are some other network considerations you may want to consider when it comes to Medicare Advantage plans. Think about which of your current doctors are the most important to you when considering Medicare Advantage plans to choose. You'll likely want to make sure they are in network with the plan of your choice. Do you have multiple hospital systems you want to have access to? Or is there a local hospital that is most important to you? Or possibly you even want to have access to a premier hospital system in another part of the country. Other provider networks to consider may include durable medical equipment, home health care agencies, and skilled nursing facilities. These networks will vary in importance based on if you do or do not need those additional services in the near future. Lastly, you should consider your travel plans when it comes to your Medicare Advantage network options. So for example, if you only stay in Metro Detroit throughout most of the year, your Medicare Advantage considerations will likely be different than someone who is a snowbird and spends half the year in Florida and in Michigan. So at this point, please leave us a comment below if you have any questions. Also give this video a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel so that YouTube knows to show our videos to more people so we can help with their transition to Medicare. Now, shifting from plan networks to plan costs, one of the first things you will likely want to consider is the plan's monthly premium. Now, this can be confusing when looking at Medicare Advantage plans for the first time, since you will notice that most of the Medicare Advantage plans available in your area are actually $0 monthly premium plans. So when it comes to Medicare Advantage plans, paying more per month is likely not necessary to get the right coverage. This can seem counterintuitive, we know, compared to all other insurance coverage, but remember from other videos that Medicare Advantage plans, they are directly funded by the federal government, which greatly impacts what they can be priced at. Also, a $0 per month Medicare Advantage plan, it does not mean you're gonna pay nothing for Medicare coverage. You will still have to pay your monthly Part B premium in order to be enrolled in your Medicare Advantage plan. In addition to the plan's monthly premiums, you'll wanna focus on actual medical coverage provided by the plan. When choosing a Medicare Advantage plan, you you will always want to consider how the out-of-pocket medical coverage does or does not fit your specific health and lifestyle needs. So when deciding on a specific Medicare Advantage plan to choose, you should consider the different copays and costs for procedures you may expect to have throughout the year. Obviously, your health can change, but we only can do the best with what we know at the time. 
The copays you will pay for different treatments will not be the same from one Medicare Advantage plan to the next. So consider some of the following things. How often do you see a specialist? For example, if you see a specialist a couple times per month, you will want to take a closer look at the actual specialist visit copay with a plan versus somebody else that might only see a specialist maybe once per year. So here are a couple additional questions to ask yourself along the lines of out-of-pocket cost. Do you have a planned upcoming surgery? Will you likely need physical or occupational therapy? Do you have a higher chance of being hospitalized? Do you have more serious medical conditions like chemotherapy or dialysis? And lastly, do you prefer alternative treatments like chiropractic or acupuncture treatments? Similar to thinking about your potential medical out-of-pocket costs, make sure you consider your regular prescription medication costs as well. Remember, Medicare Advantage plans, they are often bundled medical and prescription coverage all in one package. So you can't just choose one plan that fits your medical needs and not one that fits your prescription needs at the same time and vice versa. So we will show you how to compare prescription costs coming up shortly in this video. But if you have any questions at all, please again, leave us a comment below and we'd be happy to help you. Perhaps the biggest reason Medicare Advantage plans have increased in popularity is because they are often providing extra coverage not covered by original Medicare. And these benefits, as we all know, are heavily advertised. Medicare Part C plans with extra benefits. There may be plans available with additional benefits that aren't covered under Medicare Part C. A and B. When it comes to extra benefits, Medicare advertisements will try to only show the best plans available in the country, so just make sure you have realistic expectations for the plans available in your area. So we have talked in great detail about many factors that go into making an informed choice about which Medicare Advantage plan may be right for you. But how do you actually put all this together to find a plan that can work for you? Well, we won't leave you hanging. We will end the video telling you exactly that. Of course, we recommend doing this process with a trusted agent, but we will show you how to do most of this process yourself if you would prefer. Just remember that our services, they don't cost you anything, so we can help you also directly enroll in the plan of your choice. First, we recommend you start with prescription drug coverage searches on Medicare.gov. This will likely help you narrow down dozens of plan options in your area to a smaller handful of plans that cover your prescriptions well. Here's a brief example of using Medicare.gov and the Plan Finder tool to narrow down Medicare Advantage options. So you can go to Medicare.gov, you go to Find Health and Drug Plans, click Find Plans Now. We will enter the zip code and then click Continue. Once you do that, you'll want to select Medicare Advantage plans in this case because we are choosing Medicare Advantage plans and click Find Plans. And then at that point, you can select for now. I do not get help from any of these programs. However, if you do, you can also select those options. Then next. Yes, you want to see prescription drug cost. Click Next again. And this is where you're going to actually put in your prescription drugs. So I will type in a list of medications here you'll want to make sure you do the dosage as well as the frequency so this is two per day every month and you'll add that to the list you can keep adding prescriptions here by doing add another drug now that i have repeated the process and you can see all of the medications you might regularly take for this example you will go down and do done adding drugs you click that option and now you'll be prompted to enter any preferred pharmacies you plan to use with this plan. So I'll select a few different options, but make sure you choose one that you actually plan on using. I will do mail order, Kroger, and a couple others just for this example. Once you're done, you can do up to five and you'll click done. Now this will take you to all of the plans available in your area for Medicare Advantage. You can see there are 65 here. And this will sort it by lowest drug and premium cost. However, if it does not, make sure you select that option. Then you can scroll down and you will see the number here, which shows total prescription out-of-pocket cost with the premiums. And that number will increase as we go down the list. So this can help because you can start by looking at plans with the lowest overall cost and see if they may work for you. After seeing which specific plans seem to cover your prescriptions, you can then move to find out which plans have medical providers in their plans contracted network that you plan to see. You will have to go directly to the insurance company's website to find out. This will be much easier than trying to call each Medicare Advantage insurance company directly about their network, only to just waste hours on the phone listening to sales pitches over and over. Here's a quick example of how to use an insurance company's website to find in-network providers. Every insurance company will have different looking websites when it goes 
opposed to finding Medicare Advantage in network providers. But here is a local example with a Medicare Advantage plan in Michigan. So you can actually go down different parts of the website, but you'll find find in network care in this one. And then once you're here, you essentially choose your location, which we will put our zip code. And then once you do the zip code, you'll want to select the city and zip code. You can also do it by city if you just wanted to search that way instead. But then again, that gives you a little bit more options. So for the sake of this, we will do our zip code. You will do yes, that's correct in this case. And then the key is you always wanna make sure you're selecting the right plans and networks to search. So in this one, there's all plan searching right now, but we wanna find a specific plan. So we'll browse a list of plans and we wanna make sure it's Medicare plans. So in this case, Priority Health Medicare is what we have to select and then confirm. So now we're searching in our area for the right type of plan network. Again, you can't choose an under 65 or another employer health insurance network when you're trying to find a Medicare Advantage network. Then you can do facilities, so we can do hospitals, and then it will show you hospitals that are close to our area that are showing in network. You can also go back and you can do doctors by name. So we'll find Dr. Smith and we'll just see if they show up here. So there you go, Dr. Smith at this location. They are accepting new patients. They are in the plans network. And again, when you do the search by name, if you're trying to find, let's say another doctor, Dr. Johnson, it will show you a full list of those doctors in this case. So you don't have to just search Johnson and scroll through a bunch. If you know you see Benjamin J, you can select them directly. So again, that is how you can find your providers one by one to see if they are in your perspective Medicare Advantage plans network. If you can't find a plan that includes all of your doctors in the network, you can try finding a PPO that they may accept out of network or make a list of doctors you are willing to stop using if you really want to enroll in a specific Medicare Advantage plan. Cross her off the list. Of course, you can always look at Medicare supplements as another option, but that's a topic for another video. Once you have found a couple of plans that fit your prescription costs and provider networks, you can then take a deeper look at the copays and the medical costs to see which one may meet your medical needs better than others. You should also consider the monthly premium when looking at your plan's out-of-pocket costs. Next, take a look at the extra benefits provided by Medicare Advantage plans that fit the other criteria we have already talked about up to this point, and find the ones that are offering additional benefits that matter most to you. So just make sure that you're checking networks and the fine print for all of these extra benefits before before you go ahead and choose your final plan. You may have noticed we didn't talk much about star ratings for Medicare Advantage plans, which are Medicare's standardized way of comparing overall plan quality. And although they can be good to know, we don't think they're the most important thing to consider when picking a plan. Ultimately, if you're stuck between a plan that maybe has you know, a three-star rating and another one has a five-star rating, you may want to choose the higher rated plan. But if two plans are separated by, let's say, you know, half a star, we don't think you should just pick one over the other solely based on the star rating. Also, you can rearrange any of the steps we talked about in this part of the video if there are certain things that are more important to you. For example, if you only care about extra benefits and you are willing to slightly sacrifice other parts of coverage, you can start by just looking at extra benefits right away and working backwards or in any way you see fit. Again, this is tailored to your liking, but we just show you the thought process that we usually go through with our clients. Now, once you have taken into consideration everything we talked about and you know which Medicare Advantage plan you want to enroll in, or if you've narrowed it down to a couple options and you've compared it to a Medicare supplement, we recommend you reach out to an independent broker and enroll in the plan. This way you get their customer service at no added cost. Now, if you do need to connect with a broker with knowledge of your state, just click the link in the description below and we can get you connected. Choosing a Medicare Advantage plan is a big step in the Medicare process. But with that being said, you don't have to overcomplicate the process and second guess yourself along the way. Just follow the steps that we talked about in this video and we are confident that you'll be able to make the right choice. Medicare Advantage plans are provided as yearly contracts so the coverage can and will change from one calendar year to the next. Choose a plan that works for you based on your current knowledge of your health needs and make sure you review your options every year with your agent. Things can change so don't worry about selecting the perfect plan. As always, please like the video and subscribe to our channel. You can also comment on what video topics you want us to cover in the future. For now, click the video on the screen right here so you can compare Medicare Advantage coverage to Medicare supplement coverage.